Hey there, your friend Elliot is bringing you another Solution Packed video that I know you'll find super helpful. Today, we're diving into a topic many of you have been asking. How to bypass iCloud activation lock using Android. I know some of you might have come across various services or software promising to remove the infamous iPhone locked to owner message, otherwise known as the iCloud activation lock. Some of these methods may even work, but let me tell you, they can be risky and often inaccessible. But guess what? I've discovered a better, safer, and completely free alternative that's quicker and guaranteed to work. And the best part is these tricks work for iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. So if you're tired of seeing that lock message on your devices, stick with me. In this video, we're going to unlock the potential of your device together. Best of all, it's totally legal. Let's get started, shall we? Let's clear something up before we start. This guide is only for folks who own their device, but need help remembering their login info. We're not here to help people mess with stolen devices. That's illegal and not cool. We're all about playing by the rules. And this video also sticks to YouTube's guidelines. Let's dive in and discuss these services that can help you with the iCloud activation lock. You've probably stumbled upon a bunch of different options online, and it can be challenging to tell which ones are legit. Well, don't worry, I've got your back. I've been through this myself when I forgot my login details, and after a lot of trial and error, I found some reliable tools that got the job done. First up, there's the Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This one's a beast. It's like having a personal tech whiz right on your device. It's super intelligent, works fast, and gets the job done. Then there's Safe Unlocks. With a name like that, you can be sure they're looking out for your device's well-being. They're serious about security, so you won't have to worry about nasty surprises. Locked to Owner is another good one. Don't let the name fool you. They're all about helping you reclaim your device. Their service is straightforward and user-friendly, even if you're not a tech genius. Lastly, there's the iUnlock app. It's simple, sleek, and gets right to the point. Plus, the interface is super intuitive and easy to navigate. These are the tools that worked best for me. They're your best bet if you want to get back into your device, forget all about that annoying lock message, and again, use your phone or tablet to its full capability. Stay tuned in because next, we will walk you through how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. You will want to take advantage of this. Here is a heads up. These unlock services work best in first world countries. If you're finding it tough to access these services or prefer not to use them, don't sweat it. We've got something for you. Each week, we give 250 unlocks utterly accessible to those who tune into our videos. Now, how do you get in on this? Here's what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Subscribe to our channel. Comment below with your phone model like Samsung S9. Include your IMI number in the comment as well. Tell us which country you're from. That's it. As soon as you've done these things, you're automatically entered into our weekly draw for a free unlock. Good luck. All right, are you ready to unlock your device? Perfect, let's get started. First, grab your phone or jump onto your computer and open your browser. You're going to head to a handy little website called unlockhere.com. This site has an AI assistant named Nifty, who will be your guide. Now, you'll let Nifty know that you need an iCloud unlock. You can do this by clicking on Activation Lock. Then, you'll select the type of device you're using. For our example, we're going to select iPhone, but don't worry. If you have an iPad or an Apple Watch, you can choose those too. The next part is essential. You're going to enter your device's IMI or serial number. To clarify the difference, all iPhones have an IMEI, but iPads and Apple Watches only have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. If your device has no SIM card slot, you'll enter the serial number instead. How do you find the IMEI or serial number? Press the sleep button on your locked device again and tap on the I on the bottom right. Voila, your device info will appear. You can't forget to input this information in the next step. Very important. With that done, you will enter some basic info to attach the order to your account. This needs to be legit because you'll receive a confirmation code via email and need it to confirm your order. Next, you'll agree to the terms, confirm you're not planning on unlocking a stolen device. And there is a quick captcha to solve to ensure you're not a robot. And then tap start process. Then check your email. You'll have received a confirmation code. Sometimes it lands in the spam or junk folder, so remember to check there too. Please take this code 
Enter it back to the Unlock Here page and input that here. Confirm once again that you're not a robot. Once you've done this, your unlock process is underway and your device will soon be opened. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Remember, this is just one way to unlock your device. We've got another method for those who prefer a different approach, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, let's explore alternative ways to bypass the iCloud activation lock using Android. These are legal methods, and they will help anyone stuck with a locked device. First up is the good old forgot password feature. If you remember your Apple ID but forgot the password, go to iForgot.Apple.com, enter your Apple ID, and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll have to answer your security questions, but once that's done, you can set up a new password and remove the activation lock. Another effective method is contacting Apple support directly. This works exceptionally well if you have proof of purchase for your device. They can verify your ownership and assist you in removing the activation lock. For those of you who purchased a second-hand device and the previous owner forgot to remove their Apple ID, don't fret. You can ask the previous owner to remove the device from their account by signing into iCloud.com. They can select Find iPhone, click on All Devices Like the Device, and finally click on Remove from Account. Remember third-party services like Unlock Here's AI-powered Unlocking Web App, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock App. They are handy tools and can sometimes be the best solution to bypass the activation lock on your device. Remember, respecting others' rights and following the law is crucial. These methods are for those who legitimately own their devices and have somehow lost access to their iCloud accounts. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and exploring these legal ways to unlock the iCloud activation lock. Stay tuned for more videos. And remember, we're on this tech journey together.